Hey up, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got another tune for you. This came from me getting accepted onto the wonderful team that is Excite. The predominantly favourite car of the majority of the team to use is a 350Z. And it's a car I've never really enjoyed and one I'd never choose to use. But now, you've got to try and get me out of this thing. But first, as usual, I want to talk about one aspect of tuning before we get right into today's tune. And if you didn't watch the last one, basically, I want to talk about one aspect of tuning in each of my videos, adding my description as to what changes have what effect when it comes to drifting, with the goal of having a full, in-depth explanation to help everyone learn to tune by the time we get through a fair few videos. Because, as a wise man once said, give a man a tune, he's going to drift for a day. Teach him how to tune, he's going to drift for a lifetime. Some shit along those lines, anyway. Today, I want to talk about probably one of the most controversial and misunderstood parts of tuning in drifting on Car X. It's Ackerman. Motherfucker, it's Ackerman, Ackerman, Ackerman. Read it properly, damn it. Now, the often made mistake here, besides saying it wrong, is that Ackerman just gives you more steering angle, but it's actually far more in depth. And I want to get real nerdy on this one for a moment. Basically, Ackerman was invented in 1817, although it could go as far back as 1758, when a carriage tipped over, causing the victim to devise a steering system to stop this from happening again. Now I know what you're asking, what is Ackerman? Now the way I've always summed it up is, it's the difference in angle between the lead and trail wheel when at full steering lock. This then stops your wheels from scrubbing, which can cause you to slow down due to that scrubbing causing drag. Talking about Ackerman, I feel we should take a quick ride upon the trigger train. All aboard! I have previously seen Ackerman decided by your skill level in a certain video which I won't disclose. I would however like to nip this one in the bud straight away. Ackerman is not based upon your skill level, it's based upon feeling and driving style alone. Either way though, let me know your Ackerman skill level in the comments. You are now departing from the trigger train. Welcome to Platform 69. To sum up on Ackerman, lower Ackerman values will make the car feel restrictive and much harder to get to angle. Higher Rackerman values will make it far easier to get to a larger angle at the risk of over-rotating, but only if you drive like a baboon. The final thing to bear in mind is that Carex Ackerman values are actually backwards. 0% Ackerman is technically, in real life measurements, 100%. With that out of the way, it's time for the tune. Now this thing's a bit of a strange car to drive. It's snappy, but it can also rotate nice and slow. It's a bit strange, I know. It took me a long time to get used to it, and the reason is the rotation point of the car. Imagine there's a line going diagonally from each front wheel to the center point where they meet. That's usually your rotation point, but not on this. In real life, the 350Z has about 50-50 weight distribution. This gives it a different rotation point to most, which made it longer for me to master in the game. Let's forever tune up on screen whilst I go and send some runs with Team Excite around my favourite map for this car, Kalahari. As always, quick disclaimer, this tune suits my driving style and it might not suit yours. I also don't know everything, I'm still learning every day, so if I've missed any vital parts out of this video or even got something wrong, let me know in the comments.
Quick shout out to my team leader, Coca. Coca originally gave me a tune to try out. Then I looked at it and put most of it in the bin. Okay, here. <laughs> and with that, it's over and out. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment below for what you'd like to see next on my channel. I'm not sure what the next tune I plan to share is yet, but I do, however, want to start doing some Let's Play style videos on a few different games, mostly car related and mostly filled with pain and suffering. I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon, Marcus. If you want to support my push into being a full time streamer and content creator, check out my Patreon, link in the description. And until next time, check out this previous upload on your screen right now, and peace out.